Hey everybody, welcome to Alternative Media Television. I'm Chad Booksam. Thank you so much for tuning in. Please thumb up, share this video, help us spread this message as far as possible. There's a major struggle happening before our very eyes and I hope we're all aware of what is occurring. So Russia has just stated that a new world order is being formed. They're basically stating that the Western liberal model of society is dying. Now this is a quote directly from Sergei Lavrov, he's the Russian foreign minister. He's stating that the Western liberal model of the development, which particularly stipulates a partial loss of national sovereignty, this is what our Western colleagues aimed at when they invented what they called globalization, is losing its attractiveness and is no more viewed as a perfect model for all. So you have this new world order challenging the current one. Russia, China, the BRICS nations, Iran. Now, this is gonna be a huge, a huge, uh, event, a global uh, cataclysm that's going to occur to create this shift to a new world order. Now, is he having a lot of points stating that the Western liberal model society is dying? 100% he is. Look at the European Union, uh, first of all, with, with Brexit. They can't even get Brexit done. The European Union don't care about their people. They are too divided within. They're never going to get anything done, and this struggle is just going to continue, continue, and continue. The Western empires are collapsing within itself. Look at the United States of America. We're so politically divided, we can't get anything done. We don't agree on anything. We don't even agree on what genders to call people. And it's hard to pass any laws or to have any growth. We're over $20 trillion in debt. We launched all these trade wars with all these countries because of this. We see that our economic model, our system is collapsing, hence the trade wars. And it's all gonna lead to this global cataclysm to create this shift that would allow this new world order to be created. Now, in my personal opinion, I feel that it started after the Arab Spring in Syria. Obviously, there's a lot of things that build up to it, but look what happened in Syria. You had a major power, Russia, step in and defend the Bashar al-Assad government from falling, and they won. From all appearances, they won. Started there. Look what's happening in Venezuela, where you have Chinese troops, you have Russian troops, they're there. And look what just occurred with Donald Trump designating, you know, the U.S. administration designating uh, the military in Iran a terrorist organization, the Revolutionary Guards, a terrorist organization. Why would they do this? Because they're laying the groundwork, they're laying the groundwork for war. Okay, we need oil, we need resources, economic war, we need all of this in order to survive. But we are collapsing within itself. And these other countries, China, Russia, they are way more uh, united. They are uh, way more in agreement for what they see as the future. So how do a few of these things kind of play out? Well, take a look at the designation regarding the terrorist organization, the Revolutionary Guards that are now designated a terror organization, that Donald Trump, the U.S. administration, and look, it's not really about Donald Trump. This is about the deep state. It's about, we already know this. We already know the plan. It doesn't matter who the president is. We all know this has been coming for, for a long time. Let's not fool ourselves. But first things first, this is going to allow the U.S. administration, the deep state, the military, and Israel to attack Iranian troops in Syria. You already have Iranian troops there working aside Russian troops, building bases. Uh, you have Israel already striking Iranian troops there and revolutionary guards there. Now this is going to even give them more momentum. This is going to even give them more of a reason given the fact that they're designated a terror group now to do that. So you're going to see a huge cataclysm here in the Middle East with these powers and especially with war with Iran, which is inevitable. It's going to happen no matter what. It's not a matter of if it's going to happen. It's a matter of when it's going to happen. So that's in the Middle East. Now in our own Western Hemisphere with Venezuela, this is a boiling pot that's going to explode over. And on top of all this, we have the immigration crisis, not just on the southern border, okay? Also in the Middle East. Look at the European Union destroying itself. We are collapsing. It's falling right before our very eyes. This is what I mean by a struggle and it's happening. And if you can't see it, honestly, people need to wake up because it is occurring right now. Look at Taiwan. Taiwan is going to be the next Syria. Okay, mark my words. Taiwan is going to be the next Syria. You already have the South China Sea and the Chinese military completely militarized this whole area. We have our interests with Taiwan and you're going to see these powers there. China, Russia, the United States, our Western allies. And this is going to turn out to a big global cataclysm. And it all starts with these, we see this building like it built it before World War II with the economic trade wars, with just this 
basically us just trying to survive, doing anything we can to survive, the political division, this is exactly the same thing that happened and history repeats itself. Now we have much worse weapons, nuclear weapons, EMP, the weapons will destroy humanity. And I think Russia and China, they know this, they see this. Maybe they're trying to play it a little differently, but when it comes to a major shift, wars are unavoidable. This global cataclysm is gonna occur whether we like it or not. And the biggest danger that we have, okay, is, look, the weapons that we have. We are not gonna just let a new world order be formed. The West will not allow a new world order be formed until every weapon that they have in their arsenal is launched, and we all know it. That's why it's always best to be educated and prepared and smart and know what you're gonna do for best for you and your family, strategic locations, the United States of America, understanding what's gonna happen. The mainstream media is not gonna tell you. They work for the deep state. They work for the industrial complex. They'll never let us know anything. They wanna keep us stupid, uneducated, sheep, brainwashed, walking off a cliff. So make sure you do and what's best for you and your family, and your friends, and make sure that you are always prepared no matter what, because when it comes, when it hits the fan, blackout across the entire United States of America. Also, please make sure that your finances are in order. You don't wanna leave it in this crooked central bank, this cash system that's about to fall. Put it in something real, put it in gold, put it in silver, invest in that, protect your assets, protect your life, protect your family, protect your livelihood by doing that. Click the link below, get the free guide right now. There's not a lot of time left. You can't just leave everything that you have in the banks. You have to make sure it is protected, put it in something solid, put it in gold or in silver. This is the best way to protect your financial assets in my opinion. Again, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm not giving financial advice. This is in my opinion the best way to protect your assets for what we all know is coming. So click the link below and make sure you get the free gold kit today.